everybody, I wanted to show you how super, super easy it is to make an offset or an internal offset in Silhouette Studio. Okay, so if you're familiar with our keychains, um, this is one of our keychain files, the Sock Monkey. Um, you'll notice like this black piece, this is the size of the actual acrylic that you'll get when you purchase from us. And then if you notice the actual detail part, it has an internal offset um, from the main part of the keychain that's a little smaller than the main part of the keychain so that your vinyl doesn't go all the way to the edge. But say, for instance, you would like to keep this black outline on the so sock monkey, but you don't want it to go all the way to the edge. What you would need is for this black part to be a little bit smaller. Now, you can't just resize because whenever you resize, you throw off your proportions. Let me show you an example of what I mean. I'm going to move this over and we're just going to copy and paste this and just show you how it kind of throws it off if you just resize. Okay, so if I just wanted to make it smaller and all I did was go like this to make it smaller, you're not going to get it to line up perfectly because it's not resizing uniformly throughout the whole thing. You're just making it smaller. So you notice how close the feet are to the edge, but then how wide it is right here. So that's how an offset will help. It will uniformly resize the whole image into what you need. Okay, so we're gonna delete that one. We're gonna go over here and I'm gonna show you how to make an internal offset and also how to make an a regular offset. So an offset makes it bigger, an internal offset makes, makes it smaller, okay? So what we wanna do is we wanna go up here to our panels um, and we want to get our offset panel, okay? And that's what this will look like. And you'll see two options, offset and internal offset. So again, offset makes it larger, internal offset makes it smaller. For this, we want it to go smaller because this is the size of our, our acrylic. So we need to be just a little bit smaller than this so it doesn't go all the way to the edge of the acrylic, but also still bigger than, um, than the detailed pieces so that you can see that outline. Okay, so we're gonna click that and we're gonna click internal offset and you, you can see it'll automatically whatever you have it sized on start doing it so what you do is you just change this measurement right here and you can just mess with it until you feel like you've got the look that you want and as you can see it's perfectly following that path rather than just resizing and being distorted okay i actually really like that so we're going to apply Okay, and we can move this over here. Now you'll see this is our off our internal offset. So what we can do is we can actually turn that black so we can see how much of an edge we have. You can see when you compare the two that this one is smaller than this one, but it should be slightly larger than this. And let's see if I can send this to the back. There we go. Perfect. So now we have an offset for our monkey that we're gonna use as an outline. So we're actually gonna cut that part, apply it to the acrylic, and it will be smaller than the actual acrylic. So we can have an outline like we want it, but also have space along the edge if you wanted to do glitter or anything like that to show through. Um, another easy way to do this, if you want like an outline on your shapes, Okay, so let's move that over here. You can always pick the detailed pieces, okay? I'm just gonna copy and paste it. I am going to change them all the same color. And I'm gonna weld those pieces together. We're gonna do the same thing. This time we're gonna do an offset and I can make it whatever size I would like. We're gonna do point zero 0.02. All right, I'm gonna select that all. I'm gonna turn it black. We're gonna go ahead and just weld that all together. So we have one solid piece. Now this is another way to get an outline. So now we can use this. 
And we can put that behind our sock monkey, like so. Usually using the detail pieces, you're gonna get a nicer, like closer to the edge outline because the detail pieces obviously have more detail. So whenever you do an offset on the detailed pieces as compared to an inset, an internal offset on the solid piece, you're gonna get a lot closer to the image. So I just wanted to show you two different ways. So this one, let me copy this so you can see both. All right, we're gonna Command C and Command V, move this over, okay? So this is an offset based on the detailed pieces, okay? So you can see what that looks like. And then this is an internal offset based on this large back piece but you can kind of see the two different outcomes. And I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so I can put this where it goes. All right. All right. So here's where we're at. This is what we started with. This is the large back piece. It's the same size as the acrylic. This is an internal offset using that back piece. And then this is a regular offset using the detailed pieces. So you can kind of get an idea of how that works, okay? So hopefully that was helpful in some of the ways that you can alter your files to get different looks. Um, and let's go ahead and show you doing an offset with a name, okay? So, I'm just gonna type a name in there. And we're gonna change the font to something um, a little more scripty that has like more ups and downs. Um, usually offsets and names look really good on script fonts and fonts that are not the same width all the way through. So. Uh, like how this one has lots of ups and downs, that's a good one. So let's do that. So to do an offset on that, same thing, super easy. You select your image, you go to your offset panel. We're gonna click offset. You just pick how wide or not that you want your offset to be. You can apply it and there's your offset. Cricut Design Space doesn't have a feature like Silhouette to do an offset or an internal offset. So you have to use an external software to get that look. So you can use something like Adobe Illustrator, which is a more advanced program, but it's amazing. That's what I do all my designing in. Or you can use Silhouette Studio. You will just need to upgrade to the edition where you can save as an SVG. Because as long as you can save as an SVG, you can design your stuff in Silhouette Studio save as an SVG, and then you'll just open that in Cricut to actually cut. Um, another option is a software called Sure Cuts A Lot, which I showed how to do an offset um, in that software in another video. And then another option um, that a lot of people use, I am not a fan of because it's, um, it's a really um, overly complicated a way to do a lot of things, but Inkscape. Inkscape is a good software. Um, it's not as easy as Silhouette, it's not as easy as Shortcuts Lot, um, but it is free. So if you're looking for something free, Inkscape's an option. Um, there are issues with that in Mac, so if you have a Mac, you're gonna wanna use uh, Shortcuts Lot or Silhouette Studio, but Hopefully that helps and answers any questions for you guys. Um, don't forget to subscribe. I'll have more videos up soon and y'all have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you. Bye.